Welcome to the fire It's real like your name on a flyer So if Nation Wagwan, how y'all doing? Bless up on the Sunday year, it is good time Sundays. Shout out to our 9 JA reviews. Make the nigga my mother place, well, business place or shop. Him that buy something at the shop. <laughs> Still, big up yourself. Two of these stories though, people. The other day a report came out that dancehall artist Maestro Dan was involved in a little scuffle with the selector who was playing at Maestro Dan's party that night. Well not in party like a birthday party still you know, Maestro Dan and Egyptian event. But reports that circulate say Maestro Dan slap up selector. In Maestro Dan's recent interview with Winford Miller up on stage, Maestro Dan explained what really went down between him and the selector. Alright, um, it's a, it's a minor misunderstanding. Like, it, it just look away to the onlookers, people on the outside looking in. It's more like a verbal confrontation, not a physical altercation. So, people on the outside see it and them see the whole crowd and the activities are going and them are assume and them are run with it. So, I tell people, say, I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer. I don't need to do them something, I don't mean a sense, I'm a bad man, you have to, you have to choose, you see what I say? Okay. So I really clear me, I clear here, now I apologize. If you apologize, I mean I did something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So is it one of those situations where the selector now have given you know, strength and love, now what? I would assume, I would assume, because, you know, we're there in the party and I have friends, even though my friend, I control my friend, you understand? Mm -hmm. But you have supporters in the party, die-hearted supporters, where we just see something and I like something and take it up on them. And I mean, I really like them things, because it, 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 it look away from me as the artist, I understand? Mm -hmm. So instantly, you know, man, I drink, man, drunk, man, under them vibes, they want to hear them artists, and that's why they come there and confront the selector verbally. But, you know, it, it just look wrong and it blow out of proportion. And I mean, the people, them don't say nothing ever. Um. So here we are going to say people, Maestro Dan basically I could not say him never do nothing to the selector than at all. As a matter of fact there was no physical altercation, well at least from Maestro Dan and him friend them. But according to Maestro Dan anybody who take action are the people and the supporters who they in the party who go to the selector and make him know say yo a Maestro Dan them dead for year. They never touch a button from the selector you know but them just go make a verbal confrontation and say yo a Maestro Dan them one year. Maybe the selector either play too much of another artist. But people there are two versions of this story out there, this and the one from Jamaica Star. But don't you just hear that one year, although me do a report on the one where Jamaica Star put out the other day. But don't you just hear this, so me I go back to the Jamaica Star and make on hear what them say. Or the article that they published the other day. First thing for sure, say the two story them completely different. You know the one where him do it on stage, he must say there was no physical altercation. But right away when we read this, the title says the headline, the heading, Maestro Dan regrets hitting selector. No people. As a matter of fact, <laughs> sure, let me just continue reading. Yeah. Dancehall artist Maestro Dan says he regrets slapping a selector after they were involved in a fracas in Portmore last week. According to Maestro Dan, it was just a little misunderstanding, a little scruffing. It was just a misunderstanding between me and the selector. And me just showing the party to you know, he told the star that several things led to him confronting the disc jack. So right this again, different from what Maestro Dan has said on stage. Maestro Dan say, are the people and fans within the crowd confront the selector and make the selector know say, yo, a Maestro them dead for year. Knowing at this, he told the star that several things led to him confronting the disc jack. But anyways, when them close to finish the article, them give the next piece of what Maestro Dan say. I just the vibes in the party still. Him just probably provoke a thought in me. And the feeling was kind of overbearing. The thing kind of escalates a certain way where it never need for reach. Now again, me nah say Maestro than a lie. Me nah say the star a lie. But somewhere between there so... <laughs> Someone is lying or somebody put out the wrong information. Probably the star put it out and say Maestro Dan regrets slapping the selector, you know, just for a better headline. And I could have just Maestro Dan come back on stage now and nice up the thing for him to look that bad. 
But just know, say, Maestro Dan himself, I say, him never hit the selector. Nobody never touched the selector, none at all. But over the star side, we're supposed to be credible. They must say, Maestro Dan regrets slapping the selector. So, what I go on this, sir? But enough on the part, they still. I was just saying, moving on to people. Popcorn put out this pandagram. Where popcorn are going with? <laughs> Them dead off, man. Never full of energy and vibe. I just long time and I see popcorn put up a video like that on the gram. Masika was featured on BET Jams. Masika's music video for the single entitled Stay Strong was featured on BET Jams. I uh, know the clip is shitty. When it's a play from BET Jams, me never catch it myself. A quarry tad and also Masika upload the clip on them Instagram. So I just that we get and I we are work with. Oh, and according to quarry tad in the caption still. Masika T Strong is the second music video for the year to be featured on BET Jams. Masika alone get a feature upon BET Jams. Version also got theme like a spotlight from BET Jams. Anything you want to do you now, yeah, do your thing. Scatter Barrel uploaded this to his Instagram account. And then this is why it say, Jesus Christ was whatever useless sign of slavery. I won't even comment on that. Me and left one for do that part there. Chichin Ching upload this clip to the gram with the caption. Of course, I troubled the track with four different flow on the album. We drop in a video very soon. Check out the song. Everybody good, so me have to slam that hard. Make you fly like a union concord. Y'all yeah. want the tall man, so me have the tree where she want me to run for. Nothing with her heart and get the other heart and pick me a walk. She don't want the car man. And the real chichin, I don't think I have one. Chichin! Hey! 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 People, you see what time I clock, you see what time I knock where I up and get the fuck out of here, and as usual, my people, bad. Tef Nation, enough love. This is a the entertainment feed exclusive where we take a look at the top 10 dancehall content, whether audio or music video that's rocking YouTube's trending list. Our special guest tonight, Push a Flame from Push a Flame YouTube channel. But people, oh, we are do this thing. We are pick out from YouTube's trending list. You know, there are a lot of songs in trending list, but we are going to pick out the top 10. Well, the top 10 dancehall content and make it our top 10. At number 10, it is Alkaline Dirty Bad Mind, the lyric video. Okay, so this one, people, it is not actually on the trending list. It passed out at the top 50, but it is the most recent dancehall content that came off the trending list. The song was released on September the 6th, gained approximately 1.3 million views with 25,000 likes. The song is on the Money Order Rhythm, produced by Arms House Records.